Every generation has been the standard, has been basically the archetype of the sporty limousine in that category. And every new generation that we make, we strive to always be that standard, to always be on top. When I was asked to enter the, the competition for the all-new 3 Series, it was like a dream coming true, unbelievable. The best thing which could happen to me. I wanted to create a new face, a new BMW face, and this face is related to, to the heritage of BMW, so you find this face differently in the BMWs out of the 70s, for example, like the E21. In the case of the 3 Series, we managed to really get a very sporty character to the fascia, to the front, to the, the face of what the 3 Series is. If you start to design, you're, uh, you just want to, uh, to give the car a certain approach. You, you're just aiming for, for a kind of a emotion which you're transporting with your sketch. And then, if the car is getting real, then you enter the next level. I can turn the car in my head um, and I see it three-dimensional. I bring it to paper, the, the sketch is a tool. And then we try to bring this 2D situation into 3D with the modeler. So we're using CAS, for example, or, or the clay model. And in this case, we switched back and forth um, between clay and uh, computer modeling. We have a new theme which is called layering. Actually, it brings um, lightness to the car, to the volume that you carry around with. It makes it easy for the designer to create different areas, sort of an area for the passenger, an area for the driver. Mainly the sportiness in the interior, described by uh, sharp lines, by clean surfaces, and the direction for the view of the passenger we're sitting in. The modern line was the most heavy part to do because we, we wanted to go to a Scandinavian look or to bring the Scandinavian design feel into the cars. This was not so clear from the beginning on what it should look like. But at the end, I think um, every line was giving to the car a known character and this, that was important. And we feel that with the new 3 Series, we've kind of found the bridge between the heritage and all that we've built from to really something that is, you know, the, the best of what it can be today and for the future.